Hi everybody, welcome to my Alex AJ Bailey channel. And I love Bob's Burgers, The Simpsons, Futurama, King of the Hill, Teletubbies, and many more. Also, I love playing is on my um, video game devices and gadgets, like the Feast Smile, PS2, Xbox 360, Wii, and the Wii U. That's just good. <laughs> Also, I like colouring and art, or, and in art, I like to uh, copy out the character's outline from the images in Google. I copy them and uh, draw it out, which is great. Anyway, I'm going to show you my perfect collection of the Feast Mile, or what I'm going to play today. Here are the games, and what I got. I got Seizu. My alien classmate, of course. This is the original Feast Mile. And the learning curriculum is equations, maths, problem solving, reading compre comprehension, vocabulary, spelling, 3D puzzle solving, music. That's all we got in Seizu, my alien classmate. This is my first game I gotta play first. And my gameplay, walk through. Then I'm going to play Winnie the Pooh, one of my favorite games and my first games in the Feast Mile history. And it's for um, early learners. In Say to Alien, my alien classmate, this is for masterminds, the six to, uh, to eight. This game is for three to five year olds. And the learning content is alphabet, phonics, numbers, counting, shapes. And vocabulary, which would be so cool. Of course, this is his great Arfo. We need a poo is the first game that was released in 2004, which is good. Anyway, that's my second game I'm going to play. And the next game I'm playing after that is The Lion King Simba's Big Adventure. This is one of my second games I played. Of course, when I was little, and the learning curriculum, and this is for um, early learners, and it contains animals, numbers, size comprehension, comparison, comparison, sorry, comparisons. Oh, it's very hard to say that. I'm sorry. Counting, problem solving, colors and shapes. This should be really good. I'll say this is very good uh, learning content. That contains wild animals, safari animals, I'll say. So that's the second play I'm playing. And the next game I'm going to play after that, it's Mickey Mouse, Mickey's Magical Adventure. And the learning content contains, and this is for uh, masterminds, of course, six to eight. And uh, well, in learning learners for a Lion King, it's for three to five. And Mickey's Magical Adventure contains logic skills, memory skills, spatial sense, mathematics, number sequence, spelling, 3D geometry, and vocabulary, which would be super cool. This is a lot of learning curriculums and lessons, I'll say. So this is the third game I'm going to play. And after that, then I'm going to play... The Little Mermaid from Disney, Ariel's Majestic Journey, and it's for junior thinkers, for four till six, no, ages four till six, I meant, sorry. And it contains vocabulary, music, counting, colors, shapes, patterns, seas, animals, and problem solving. This will be interesting, I'll say, and it will interest you because you love The Little Mermaid. This will be after Mickey. And I'm going to play after that. And then the next game I'm going to play is... If I found it... If I find it... Aladdin's Wonders of the World. And it's from Aladdin. That was released in 2005. And it's for Masterminds. 6 to 8. Ages 6 to 8. And the learning content contains... Spelling, number patterns, logic, vocabulary... Mathematics and classification. This would be really good, I'll say, 
in the final level, this is really tricky. You got to defeat your father that's transformed into a snake. And you have to throw a bubble, of course, to match the picture and the word. So that's the next game I'm going to play. And then after that, if I found it, I don't know which one next would it be. Disney Pixar's Finding Nemo, Nemo's Ocean Discoveries. And, the, and it's for Junior Thinkers. And the learning content contains sea animals, logic, shapes, colors, and comparison skills. Sea animals that are easy and very interesting and hard one. Which is really good. So that's the next game I'm going to play after Aladdin. And what game I'm playing next? Let's find out. And what I'm playing next is Toy Story 2. And Toy Story 2 is for junior thinkers and the learning content contains letters, vocabulary, mathematics, logic, geometry, spatial skills, and map skills. Map skills is a very good learning content or curriculum, I'll say. That's the next game I'm going to play. And after that, I'm going to play, um, what's, what's, what's next? Um, Cars! Wrap it up in radiator springs. In Cars, this is for junior thinkers, and it contains in the learning curriculum, letters, observation, Vocabulary, classification, mathematics, map skills, and logics. So that'll be good, of course. I love playing Rabbit Up Rabbit Radio Springs. It's a good game, I'll say. I like it to play as Mighty McQueen. Anyway, what's the next game I'm playing after that? Ratatouille, Remy's new recipes. This is what I love. It contains food in it. The learning content is spelling, mathematics, directions, colors, numbers, drawing skills, logic, and alphabetical order. And it's really good, of course. It's released, I think, in 2007. And it's for junior thinkers, ages 4 to 6. Which would be nice. And after that, I'm going to play Handy Manny. Handy Manny is a Playhouse Disney show, of course, and the learning content is for early learners. You can learn Spanish, directions, logic, numbers, shape matching, puzzles, addition, problem solving, and colors. That has nine learning contents, I'll say. Nine lessons. Which is very, really cool, I'll say. This should be good. And the next game is I'm playing next is Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Well, it's not really Free Smile, but that can count as Free Smile. It's compatible, really. It's from Free Smile Motion, and it counts on the Free Smile. And the learning content, I think it's for learning learners. Numbers, letters, counting, estimation, shapes, music, colors, and singing. Which would be really cool, of course. There's a sing-along on there. There's a fanfare fair. And I can't remember what the other one is. And I need you to help me. Of course. So that's the uh, next game. And I'm going to play after that. And what am I playing next? Is, um... Uh, Dora the Explorer. Dora's Sixit Adventure that was released in 2005 and the reissue is 2008 or 7. And the learning content is for early learners and it contains uh, colors, animals, shapes, spatial skills, numbers, logic, problem solving. Which would be really cool, I'll say. It'll be tremendous and totally amazing. And in the next game, of course, after that, it'll be SpongeBob SquarePants, A Day in the Life of a Sponge. And it's for masterminds. The learning content is spelling, geometry, mass money skills, logic skills, and weights and measures. Which would be awesome, I'll say, because my favorite level is the Krabby Patty Cake, where SpongeBob has to spell the words for each patty. This is what I'm going to be playing. This is what I'm playing next after Dora. 
And the next game I'm playing is Blue's Clues Collection Day. And it can and it's for masterminds. The learning content is and it can I mean it contains classification, logic, letters, vocabulary, for observation, foods, shapes, and counting. And she there's blue, of course. And that's the learning, con learning content for Masterminds, of course. And after that, I'm playing um, Bob the Builder. Bob's Busy Day. And the learning content contains, this for early learners, letters, number counting, colors, alphabet, or, alphabet order, color sequence, and shapes. This is really good, of course, Bob's Busy Day. It contains four levels as well. And after that, I'm going to play Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Engines working together. The learning content contains letters, colors, counting, classification, puzzles, size sorting, and object identification. And it's for early learners, ages 3 to 5. And it's so cool, of course. And the game is great. Right, after that, I'm going to play is... Scooby Doo Funland Frenzy and it's for uh, masterminds. It contains uh, vocabulary, logic, numbers, matching skills, and maps. Hmm, I thought it was Junior Thinkers, but they changed it to um, masterminds now. Well, it's not bad at all. It was released in 2004, which would be nice, I'll say. But I gotta say, that's very interesting how they did that. Right, after that, I'm going to play Spider-Man and Friends Secret Missions. And the learning content contains spelling, counting, animals, logic, colors, shapes, and problem solving. And it's for Junior Thinkers for ages 4 or 5 to um, 7, I think. I'm assuming. And this is a good game, I'll say, Spider-Man and Friends. And the next game I'm playing is, um, Noddy. Noddy Detective for a Day. And it's the UK dub, of course. And the learning content contains, this is a lot of them, I'll say. It contains counting, memory skills, beginning letters, origin language, like French, for example. Colors, matching, sizes, object classification, and shapes. This is a lot of learning contents, I'll say, with learning skills. <laughs> what a lot of learning skills, I'll say. Right. What game I'm playing after that? Oh, I forgot. Cinderella's Magic Wishes. The learning content is for masterminds. It contains music, creativity, patterns, spatial skills, spelling, classification, and mathematics. So what I'll do, I'll play Cinderella... After the Little Mermaid and before Aladdin, which would be uh, which would be cool for you guys, I'll say, because I'm doing um, Disney first, of course, which would be great. And after that, I'm gonna play is um, Go Diego Go Save the Animal Families, families. I'm sorry. The learning content is for early learners, and it contains numbers, letters, shapes, matching, logic skills, Spanish, animals, and singing. Well, it has a sing-along in Go Diego Go, which is good, I'll say. That's the next game I'm going to play after that. And then, I'm going to play, um, The Backyard Again's Viking Voyage. And it's for early learners, it contains colors, size, comparison, Shapes, memory skills, numbers, logic skills, counting, matching, rhyming. This is a good game, I'll say. It has rhyming on it as well. This is good. <laughs> and the next game I'm going to play is... Um, Barney, the Land of Make-Believe. Which would be good. And this is for early learners. Colors, numbers, letters, animals, counting, vocabulary, and patterns. This is what it contains. And it's for early learners, ages 3 to 5. And it's released in 2005. And the final game, of course, 
mm, going to play is... Well, Spider-Man and Friends Dog Hogs Challenge. I have to see how well I do in Dog Hogs Challenge. Because it's more, no, very trickier, of course. The learning content contains mirrors and lenses, solar system, the food pyramid, directions, simple machines, logic, and problem solving. I gotta say, the learning content, of course, I'll repeat, mirrors and lenses, solar system, and the food pyramid, which is very, really interesting, I'll say. And the simple machines as well. Which will be very interesting. This is for 6 to 8. Or ages 6 to 8. So that's all my games I got at the moment guys. And that's all the games I'm going to play. I'm going to do the Feast Mode series. And the episode 1 is Say to my alien classmate. So thanks for watching my collection of Feast Mode guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the first Feast Mode game. My Say to my alien classmate. Goodbye. See you real soon.